The importance of intercrops. This is very essential for sustainable agriculture because the intercrops provides supporting in nutrient wise, they support the main crop and also they act as live mulching and we can also get uh, the extra income from the intercrops. Not only extra income, sometimes the expenses which we have to bear for the main crop, we can get from the intercrops. For example, here we have the distance between the sugar cane rows, the distance is 8, 10 and 12. In these uh, rows, we have uh, this uh, pulses and vegetables as intercrops. The pulses give nitrogen to the soil and the vegetables give live mulching and also income for us. And in one system, we had um, chilies, uh, marigold and black gram as intercrops in between the rows of sugarcane. So here also we used this uh, uh, marigold as trap crop like to attract insects, pests and all so that we do not have any pest for the chilies because of the marigold. And also the black gram gives nitrogen both for the chili crop and also for the sugarcane crop. And they, these three act as live mulch uh, for the main crop that is sugarcane. So we sold marigold, one rupee of the flower, and we are selling these uh, chilies as dry chili powder, red chili powder that is, and the black gram we are using for a household purpose. Whatever it is, as intercrop, the yield can be utilized for our household purpose and also we can, if it is extra, we can sell it outside. So the main expense, uh, which the labor expenses or whatever it is for this sugarcane crop, they, it will come from the intercrops. So the, the expense for the main crop is zero, we can say in that sense. So in this zero budget natural farming, that is why it is called zero budget natural farming. Here we are getting all the expenses from the intercrops. And not only that, we don't use any chemical fertilizers and pesticides, only jeevamsa will be given. For the intercrops, we need not take an extra because for the main crop, we give water and jeevamsa, whatever it is, the manure, that will be sufficient for the intercrops also. Not only this, the sugarcane is a crop which needs heavy sunlight. So if the distance between the rows is uh, as 8 feet or 6 feet, the sunlight will be, uh, will reach each and every leaf of the sugarcane so that more yield we get. Here we got in one year we got 70 tons per acre. Next year in some areas we got 50 tons, 60 tons. The minimum is 40 tons we are getting it. So the, uh, because of intercrops the yield never reduces but it increases.